All right, so we're doing another mangrove snapper uh, fishing video. It's summer, so that's what's biting. Uh, it's what I like to eat. It's one of my favorite fish to catch, so we're gonna see what we can get. There's some other stuff coming around, like big jacks and stuff, uh, but primarily we're targeting mangrove snapper. There's actually one in the water right here. Nice keeper size. But we just caught all those sardines and pilchards, and then we're just gonna start chumming up the water and bring the snapper around. Um, we're using just a bear hook and uh, a long 20 pound, maybe switch down to 10 pound leader and uh, see what we get. Hopefully there's some nice big ones around. Oh, there's actually an iguana right here. I think he wants a fish. There he goes. Is he gonna eat it? There he goes. He's eating it right now. He got it in his mouth. He could not eat the pilchard. Having a hard time swallowing it. Looks like he's just trying to bite off a piece and then, I don't know, there he goes. Oh, there's a big snook right here. Almost snook season. There's a big mahara. I don't know if you guys can see it, but a lot of life going on. It's high tide right now, so the fish are really moving around. But we're gonna get the fish in. I see the mangroves are already showing up. A bunch of those pilchards that I caught, I threw them in the water, uh, like half dead. So, um, chums up the water. So we just got our pilchard, bear, size number two kale hook, 20 pound liter. It's fluorocarbon, but it doesn't really matter. We're just throwing it out and letting it sit. So I knew at some point we were probably gonna have to do this. Uh, they're not hitting the 20 pound liter uh, when I was down in the Keys. It was clearer water than this, and they would hit the 20 pound liter, no problem. Um, but I'm gonna have to switch down to 10 pound fluorocarbon. It's just a Seaguar blue label. And then all I do is do a uni to uni knot. Super simple knot. Uh, just take your braid, pretty much do a little loop over it. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to show you on here because you're not gonna be able to see the line, but. You just wrap it around like four times, after you do the loop, tighten down your braid, and you do the exact same knot with your mono. Just make sure that the knots are opposite sides of each other because once those knots pull together, that's going to form your connection between your braid and your uh, mono or fluorocarbon leader. And then you just cut off the tag ends. Pull them tight like that, put your hook on your leader, and you're done. If you're wondering how I found all that bait first try, uh, it's just everywhere. These are all sardines and filtered, but they're literally all around this corner right here. So you just find them, go somewhere where there's no rocks, and then throw your net on them and you get them. Oh, one just took it. There we go. Oh, it's a really nice mangrove. Not a bad size one. Keeper size, but we're gonna throw them back. We like to keep the ones that are about 13 inches or so. He hit the whole sardine. Another keeper size, but again, not big enough for us. 
there's just really not enough meat on them. But yeah, like right when we switched on to that 10 pound, we thrown two baits in and got two fish. So pretty good deal. I wouldn't be surprised if we got hit again pretty quick. And we're just free lining. We got the spool, uh, the bale open, so it can just spool out line. And then um, once they run out with a little bit of line, make sure they swallow the hook. Then you uh, set, just shut the bale and set the hook. There we go. A little bit better size one. Let's see, nice size, about 12 inches. Oh. So we're probably still doing catch and release today. Um, unless we get something real nice. I forgot to bring my cooler. So, unless it's something really good worth keeping, I'll pick up some ice on the way home, throw it in my five gallon bucket. But we got fish at home. It's a little bit larger size. Use the larger bait. The small ones can't usually eat it. Another nice size one. So I don't know if you can actually see the difference between these, but this is a sardine and this is a pilchard. It's like a herring and this is an actual sardine. The eyes look a little bit different and they're a lot softer, the sardines are. Uh, sardines tend to be better bait, I think, in my opinion. Just in terms of what the fish actually like to eat. I think it's softer and they're probably a lot more oily. getting bites just about every single bait catching fish it's working out pretty good and this type of fishing is really best at high tide uh, high tides like prime time uh, low tide the water tends to get kind of cloudy the fish get more spooked because there's just less water uh, in the area so the fish tend to be a little bit more erratic in their behavior where at high tide they're really calm they're ready to eat water's clear um, it's been overcast all day too so the water's actually kind of cool um, that helps too sometimes we get like seaweed on our line we gotta get that off the fish will see that snapper with the bait in his mouth. I got him, a little tiny guy. Wow, look at this giant container ship.
you can see they have been eating. Look how fat his belly is. So this one I'm gonna have to cut the line on. He swallowed the hook. So just bite it, let him go. And that way that hook will rust out, he'll be fine. There's an iguana over here. I think I should feed him a bait. I think he knows I've got food. He's coming over here just looking at me like I got something to do for him. Last fish today. He choked down that whole greenie. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll have enough to put together a short little micro fishing episode. And uh, until next time. <laughs>